Good morning, everyone. I am going on a little solo adventure today because no one wanted to come with me. I'm getting ready to go on a local hike here in Southern Oregon on a trail called Rainy Falls, which is a really popular trail. It follows along the Rogue River and it's really scenic. So I thought that I would bring you along with me. So let's go. The Rainy Falls Trail is a 3.6 mile round trip hike that runs parallel to the well-known and the really long Rogue River Trail, and it covers one of the prettiest segments of the river. Even though the Rainy Falls Trail runs parallel to the Rogue River Trail, because it's on the opposite side of the river, it's a lot shadier, which is good when it's in the middle of summer. So you can see how this trail is super shaded, but then on the other side of the river, you can see the Rogue River Trail, and it's really sunny over there. This trail is extremely narrow the entire way, and it's really rocky, so it's not stroller accessible at all, and it is not good for little kids because it hugs the mountain the entire way, so you're pretty much walking along a cliff for the entire trail. So if you fall, it can be fatal, and the Rogue River is not a friendly river. Once you've hiked about the first mile on this trail, you'll come to the remnants of an old suspension bridge that was built in 1908 during Oregon's mining days. I believe the suspension bridge was eventually washed away by flooding, which would be scary thinking that the river got up this high. There are quite a few little seasonal creeks that you have to cross throughout this trail. They're really small, so they are not hard to cross at all, but they're really pretty and they make the trail a lot more scenic because there's like teeny tiny waterfalls and just you can hear the trickling of water and it sounds pretty and it's peaceful. One really convenient thing about this hike is that it's accessible all year round. Most of the trails in Oregon get covered in snow during winter so you can't hike them or you need snowshoes to hike them but this one generally speaking does not get snow during winter though when it rains it does get slippery which can be kind of dangerous but it is hikeable. So spoiler alert, before we get to Rainy Falls, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now that it's not actually a falls, it's not a waterfall, it's a rapid. I believe it's a class five rapid. I believe that's it right there. So despite the fact that Rainy Falls isn't some sort of huge waterfall, it's still really beautiful and I think that it's worth the hike to come out and see. One thing that's really cool about this spot is if you come during autumn, you can see the salmon and the steelhead migrating up the rapids, which would be really cool to see. So I've been going through little spurts of being really motivated about my YouTube channel and spurts where I'm just like not motivated at all and I debate taking a break from YouTube and it's literally week by week and I've come to understand the pattern if I get out and do something anything like coming on a hike like this hike for example it motivates me and then for the next week or two I'm like yeah I want to do all this stuff and I want to make all these videos and have all these adventures and then after a week or two with me sitting home and doing nothing I start to feel really unmotivated and I'm like there's nothing to do I can't think of any videos that I want to make and I just want to take a break from YouTube but then once I make myself get out into nature I feel that spark of motivation come back I think that nature is really healing so like I don't know if you guys are ever feeling down depressed unmotivated like just get out and do something anyway. Make yourself do it because I guarantee you, once you do it, you'll feel better. That happens all the time. Even just like when I walk at the dog, for example. I don't wanna go on a walk. I don't feel like walking the dog. But after I take the dog on a walk, I feel good and I'm really glad that I did it. So sometimes you just have to make yourself do it and then you feel good and you're glad you did. So I've come up with a little personal goal for myself to start hiking more, especially now that spring is almost here. There's just so much that I wanna explore. And I'm not sure if like me solo hiking would make for very interesting videos, but the rest of the family isn't really much for hiking. Raya would be, but obviously she's three, so she can't do a lot of hikes. I was thinking maybe I could try to go on a hike about once a week and 
just do some exploring and make some videos or I could just take some pictures and post them on Instagram at least I'm getting out and <laughs> exploring things and I actually really really like hiking by myself because I can go my own pace I can do whatever length of trail I want to do I can challenge myself or I cannot challenge myself I can just do what I want to do well, I made it back to my car as you can see, and I gotta say, the time of day that you hike this trail really makes a difference because I noticed that when I was hiking back, the sun was shining more directly on the river, and it looked a lot prettier than it did when I was hiking there. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. See ya.